Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Sylvester. I am a board certified surgeon with the American and European College of Veterinary Surgeons and I'm also a certified canine rehabilitation practitioner. And in this particular video, we're taking a foreign body out of a small dog's jejunum. Notice I have some doyen clamps placed on the bowel. The foreign body is where it is, but there's no redness, there's very little bruising. It's quite healthy looking tissue. So we're just gonna take it out by making an incision, either over the foreign body, because the tissues are quite healthy, or in this particular case, I'm gonna go a little more ab or rad to that foreign body. So further down the bowel from the foreign body, and I'm just going to push the foreign body out. I like to use the SH needle on the bowel. It's the appropriate size. SH will refer to the size of the needle. It's the appropriate size. There's not too much needle. It's small enough that with my needle driver, I can easily control the point of the needle and guide it through the tissues that I want it to go through. Again, the SH needle I'm using is a taper point needle, and the taper point is an atraumatic needle, and that's what I like to see in the bowel. I avoid reverse cutting needles or any type of cutting needle for the bowel. I like the taper point. I use a simple interrupted pattern when closing the bowel. I find it's the easiest, and just be careful that you don't close it too tightly. You don't want to crush the tissues. You want to gently but firmly oppose the tissues. Once I'm done closing the bowel, I'm gonna leak test my closure to make sure that it is, in fact, properly done. So I still have my doyens in place. I'm gonna use about a 10 to 20 cc syringe, fill it with saline. I find a 22 or 23 gauge needle will work best on this. You might wanna bring the doyens in a little closer or if you have an assistant, have them move their fingers closer to the enterotomy site so you don't have to really use a lot of saline. Fill with saline, you wanna see some distension of the bowel. I'm fiddling a little bit here in this video, but you see that I'm getting the bowel a little bit distended at the end. And I'll even push, making sure that the bowel is turgid enough. And as I push on it, I should not see any saline come flowing through the enterotomy line. If I do, I know I need to put another stitch to correct that particular spot. I will retest if I've had to redo part of the suturing. So that's a brief surgical overview. If you want more information on my practical workshops, go to focusandflourish.com. And while you're here, check out the other resources on the ProNorth website.